Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Twitchy and we are in the rock full of brains. A bunch of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We need to get across over to two more. And you know what's going to help us do that? The petroleum boiler that we spent six hours or so trying to build uh, last time. We're waiting for all the heat to build up down here. It's taking a little bit of time, much longer than I thought it would actually take. Uh, but that's fine. That means that we've got time to go around and try and deal with some of the issues that I have seen building up on at some of our areas and deal with some of the side projects that we've been meaning to deal with for some time. Some of the problems are such as we, uh, we we appear to have a liquid pump that is not pumping out to anywhere. We appear to be taking damage on all of these natural gas geysers and the reason why there, uh, you know what, I think I, we'll, we'll come back to that, we'll come back to it. The reason why there is we've got a bunch of gases flowing through there. Over on Reverse Lin, we were talking a long time ago about building our way up to the surface and I think we can do that by dropping some of this magma into to this chamber and trying to force it down into its little cooling area but before we do any of those things we have got a growing issue a growing issue where oh, no, I hit the wrong button where the toilets are backing up and why are the toilets backing up it's because our water sieve does not have any sand right now and there's a very quick and easy way to make sand unfortunately I need to get everybody uh, down here and starting to build some more structures for us that's not going to happen immediately because you know people are just about to go to bed it just seems to be the way that I deal with stuff do you know how else I'm going to deal with stuff I'm just going to break this line here we, we, we're going to we're going to fix this we really are but that's not what I'm going to fix first we, we need to fix the toilets first and the only way that I can do that of course is to come into the utilities no the refinery Where, where's the refinement over here uh, and we've got the rock crusher it's 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 our fallback for making sand it's what we always use even on reversing over here we've got this little sand maker down the bottom here I'm gonna put a small bit of automation on it instead in fact now that I've said that I think it's this tile right here that I want to put the small bit of that automation on so we'll deconstruct that and in its place we're gonna use a weighted pressure plate you know what? I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna wait overnight I think at some point we're gonna have to come through and kind of formalize this little industrial area we've got down here the exosuit forge the rock crusher batteries I don't know why this is here especially when we've got our own little uh, power sector down here we could we could actually build it down the bottom and power up this way but we're gonna leave people to build these rock crushers over here because there was another problem on Blagolia this is the place with the swampy area where we've been turning uh, turning gold sorry actually what we've actually been do it is turning polluted water into polluted dirt and then that gets turned into sand what a great way of making sand it's been happening over here as well we've been just pouring boiling hot 2000 uh, 2600 degree gold on top of uh, polluted water it's actually been making a very uh, fine amounts of sand for us but the problems that we've got over here look look at this we've been taking damage repeatedly over here and i have not been noticing because my duplicates have been so good so good at fixing this place back up i'm going to grab myself a gas filter so we're going to spin it this way around, make sure that we go green to white. Turns out I cut the pipe in the wrong place to do the thing that I want to do. Uh, so much like that, this, and put down a small little gas vent. We should have an entire setup ready if we put power in. Uh, this little setup here, which hopefully I'm imagining that most people are going to come along and work on because there's not much going over going on at Blagolia right now. We are farming our fish. It's going it's going okay for the fish farming, to be fair. We've got we've got quite a few. Let's, let's have a look. If we have a look on the room overlay, here we go. Uh, we've got 46 critters in there. That's pretty nice. It's been giving us a fair amount of fish. Looks like they've been e eating ahead of the fish, unfortunately. Uh, but it's been good. Everybody's been eating mostly cooked sea food. They, they've not built this over here. We'll, go, we'll come back to this. Let's have a look. This area has been built. Now, I want to send a green signal from this pressure plate. Let's join the pressure plate to the rock crusher. I want to send a green signal if uh, below 100 kilograms. Let's, let's go with that. Uh, I do notice that we also have some sandstone laying there. We'll, we'll get rid of that. What I'm going to do is go, hey, can you take this igneous rock that we are making in lots of places? Unfortunately, not here but we can send some over. Can you take this igneous rock and turn it into sand for us? Hopefully that's uh, Franklin on the way already. There we go, beautiful. Let's uh, let's just go through this a little bit faster. Uh, and now, hopefully, uh, okay, we, I'll wait till someone's back. 
And as I was saying, now that we are making some of this sand, at the end of the cycle, if we, uh, the, the build cycle, the, the, the processing cycle, the sand will get dropped down directly on top of the pressure plate. Uh, when it's over uh, the standard uh, mass that I've put down of two, I'm going to go with 200, it looked like the duplicate was uh, was triggering it with their own weight, and I don't want to do that. That's what... That's what distracted me there. Uh, and now they're just going to carry on making sand until we have a bit of an excess built up on this weighted pressure plate. When we've got 200, it will turn the rock crusher off, freeing Franklin up to go and do other things that need doing, which mostly is delivering the sand to, to where it's needed, you know? Back on Blagolia with still waiting. All right, fine. Whilst we're waiting for this, if we go back to Piax in the place we were literally just making a few changes up here, uh, I want to know how long it is until our minor volcano erupts again. 11.8 cycles. It's going to take a while for us to build up a nice little stock of magma here. Why is this? Ah, we've, we've got too, too much igneous rock here. Okay, I messed around a little bit. I threw some on the floor. These guys are now picking this up, putting it in the side. That's good. Igneous rock will be turned into sand, is it? Yes, it is. We're going to be turned into sand. Uh, and then go around and uh, be useful in lots of different ways. Hopefully, we're not just sending it all off to other areas. Let, let's have a look here. It's, we are just sending sand here. This, maybe, we'll, maybe we're going to stop doing that. Okay, with that now up and built, we are going to filter out an unbreathable gas. We want to filter out the hydrogen. So if we have a look here, the middle pipe here is the one that the filtered gases come out of. Uh, and that will then feed the hydrogen into the system. Everything else, literally everything else, which in this case means polluted oxygen, gets vented out. Now you might be going, hey, where is this polluted oxygen coming from? Well, it's this liquid right here. The polluted water, you can see right there, it uh, emitted a whole bunch of polluted oxygen. This fills up the area uh, which this pump valiantly tries to pump out uh, and then you know it gets thrown out to the wilds it's extra oxygen we get to have extra oxygen now the next thing I need to do is a bit of a long process I need to get this pipe of water over here through this whole route up and into this one uh, I feel like it's not going to be the hardest job I've ever undertaken but at the same time things do happen. I'm going to come over this way. We're going to go down, a, not like that, across this way through the door. I didn't want to take the floor out because I feel like that could have led to major complications. And now how am I going to thread my way through here? We're going to bring this down, up and over and we're going to jump over this way. Okay, I think I've got it sorted now. Let's get ourselves some liquid bridges up and running. This one wants to jump that way. Of course, we go from the white to the green. I've got to make sure that I get that right every time and then should just flow up there. Okay, so hopefully over time people will be coming along to build all of this infrastructure in place uh, they they go idle over here fairly regularly so uh, that that shouldn't be so much of a bother okay back over on uh, Pyaxlin where we built the rock crusher to make the sand the water is now flowing we haven't managed to empty it completely but we are processing it as I am uh, talking I'm gonna I'm gonna watch here and see if we can actually spot ah it's coming from down here as well now okay that that's fine that's definitely within in the uh, the system's capabilities it was all now being uh, cleaned by the chlorine over here if we have a look there's chlorine on the floor and inside these liquid reservoirs we've got uh, water that is filling up with germs but then being killed by chlorine uh, of course all of this uh, sorry wrong button all of the water that comes through from the toilets believe it or not full of germs so we need to kill them first before we can dump the water into our main storage device up here which is also being fed by this cool steam geyser with, a little, with its own little bit of cooling anyway enough of that let's get back over to reversal and somewhere else where people are um idle quite a lot of the time over here of course we have rutherford boar and hubble hubble's just the guy who goes around and tidies up the place he's been very bored recently but the one person i want to really interface with is rutherford if we have a look at his list of skills over here bam you can see that he's got all the diggings not not all the diggings we can't get corium out but just literally everything else uh, and i think that means that we can start sending them up this way now i'm really worried about this this vacuum seal being broken so I'm going to take away these ladders 
And we're going to figure out how to get some oxygen up here. It might be a bit of a troubles, but I do not want Rutherford breathing in the space that we're about to send him up to. Uh, up through here, you can see I've got a little, little bit of petroleum on the floor. If we go to liquids, there it is. A little bit of petroleum on the floor. This is holding back all of the oxygen. The entire weight of the oxygen in this base is being pushed up into that little space. The autosave really does make it awkward to explain these things. Comes up and tries to push through here. It cannot, and we have pumped out all of this area um, so it's a vacuum so the heat from this magma the 1500 degrees C of this magma uh, is not able to penetrate uh, pass its way up and around uh, and that's that's what we want that is what we want because if heat cannot get passed through we're not going to fry our duplicates if we're not going to fry the duplicates, that means we can just send them up to start building things like crazy obsidian ladders so we can go up. And I, I, th I think we're going to dig like all of this out. We're going to lose some of the obsidian. It's going to end up down in the magma. It's not going to melt. It literally cannot. The magma is not hot enough. But it's, it's going to end up at the bottom. And until we can come along and do things like some corner building going this way. Of course, we need to do the bottom layer first. Uh, and then start pushing all the magma back up and into our little filter device here. That's the uh, little funnel device, sorry. That's the only way we're going to be able to get in here and uh, and deal with this, I think. I've been, I've been sat thinking about it. Because this, this little pocket down here... It's a problem. This one's also a problem, but uh, it's it's not actively connected up to this magma funnel at the moment. Okay, so we need a checkpoint facing that way. We need a dock in there like this. We're going to get a small atmospheric suit system on the go. I'm not sure if we've got any uh, atmospheric suits here at the moment. I don't even know if we've got the abilities to make one. We used to have one set up here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Exosuit Forge, drop it down here. I'm just going to steal a little power off of this system that very rarely gets used. Hopefully everything won't happen at the same time. And then we can keep keep this uh, repairing the atmosphere that will, uh, the suit that we'll have over here. I'm also looking at this, this power system that we've got. It'd be much nicer if we just kind of run it across the top here and rip down these doors, right? I, th I think that might be what we do. Okay, I think I've uh, ascertained why this has not been uh, built like that. We, we can't reach. We cannot reach, no matter how hard I try. So I'm just going to say no to that. We are, of course, building the uh, the forge over here, as I was saying. And we've managed to get the uh, the checkpoints up and running. We need to run some power in. And we've also got a little gas pump because it seems, it seems like there's a serious supply of oxygen down here at all times. I don't feel like we need to worry about the oxygen supply. Maybe the pressure being all the way uh, removed from the actual supply of oxygen here is going to, uh, to, to suffer a little bit. But we're only going to fill up this pipe and the suit so it shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a problem i don't think man board takes a while to build wow curie is idle i i think i know what it means we're gonna do with her let's go over to the teleport transmitter curie uh we're gonna we're gonna send you back to reverse lynn i think i think there's some projects that she can help with i don't know whether we've got enough food to help her but then it's be fine where's she gonna sleep where is she going to sleep we'll, we'll figure that out on the way she she is a little bit demanding but i feel like this is not something that we cannot deal with Let, let's let's not forget to hit the teleport button that's to totally wasn't sat there for 20 seconds wondering why she hadn't arrived yet no no that uh, just doesn't sound like something that i would do all right curie getting printed out on the other side is it the same curie that went into the the teleport uh, on on the other side i don't know i mean we do print them out from printing pods anyway so i'm, I'm not sure what the difference is between that and uh, the teleporter i bet i bet curie finishes building all of this before built bought does does this tiny little bit right there T tiny little bit we could we could have nighttime called and i still think curie would get there first oh well there is nighttime maybe may, maybe i did speak a little too soon he's gonna carry on through okay may, maybe all right game call me out like that see see if i care <laughs> Okay, Exosuit Forge is made. Let's make use of it. We just we just want one of those. Just want one of those. And then the repair, we want that done forever. Not that we've got the fibers. Okay. Now that's a little more awkward than I was expecting. We, we, we can send fibers across. I'm fairly sure we've got fibers 
uh, on, on, on the system somewhere. So this conveyor loader over here remembers everything that I w want to send through the system. And this conveyor loader is the one that actually sends stuff through the system so that I can come along here and go actually clear all of that. I want some reed fibers through here. Thank you very much. Now, it, people are asleep, so we're going to have to wait for daytime to happen. But we, we, we can get this moving. We can definitely get this moving. Uh, Maxwell's probably going to be the person to do the jobs, though Plank surprisingly no low number there okay after emptying all the gases out of this oil well plank is on the job of trying to go grab some reeb fiber that that's cool it puts on a little bit of a gas mask over here it's just a little bit of a gas mask you know doesn't want to put too much on uh grabs a reeb fiber from the shearing station and we're gonna just leave him to go and put that in the box let's go back over to reverse it and see how things are doing over here so the pumping system seems to be set up and indeed i feel like we are in, uh, moving all of the gases there i am also asking for a small extra bedroom to be set up so as soon as the uh, the floor is in place i'm sure kiri will go around and build her own bedroom do we have the plastic i don't know let's let's, let's find out um, blah, 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 plastic it wouldn't have let me make it if not we got we got six tons that's cool more importantly that read fiber made it's what 190 well i feel i feel like maybe we've sent a little too much over uh pi accident of course the place where it's coming from we're going to copy the settings and change that back to normal brilliant Okay, whilst we leave Curie to be building the bed and uh, connecting the power up at some point, and of course the exosuit forge needs to uh, to spit out an exosuit. Let's have a look at the forge. Hubble's going to get on that next. We're going to go over to Begonia and have a look at how the pipeline is doing. Uh, not not well by the looks of it. Let's uh, let's put some some priorities up here and see if that actually gets people moving a little bit quicker on this i do believe we do not have a dedicated builder on this side yet literally not a single pipe we'll, we'll see what happens in a couple of minutes for that uh pie accent of course still waiting on the volcano it's been not even two cycles <laughs> wait we've got we've got an exosuit forge down here wait a minute where <laughs> okay i mean yeah fine it went went with the uh the production area. How, how have you been keeping everything fixed I'm not. I'm not going to ask questions here. I'm just. I'm just going to leave them to it. Would it be nice to move this one closer to to this? Well, that's a, a small distance to move stuff, I suppose. Okay, on nine, Swan Levitt is going around and making a bunch of deliveries. I'm not sure whether she can actually build though. Yeah, it looks like you can build as well. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. We'll we'll just leave you doing what you do. Back to reverse, Lynn. How are things going over here? I mean, the power wire's in place. How about this though? Let's have a look. Says Hubble one again. I I don't know. I kind of doubt it. It keeps finding other things to do. What what have we got here? Read fiber. Okay, all right. We we are on it. This is the job that we need to be doing. But whilst we watch Hubble create the Exo Forge and then wander off to find something else to do, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the people that stopped me wandering off to find something else to do. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. These are names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to keep me and my shenanigree in business here on my YouTube channel. And because of their valiant sacrifices, you guys out there get to watch my continued stream of entertainment and I get to look within myself and say thank you so much, guys. I, every week, I just love doing this. Okay, it took a whole day longer than I thought it would, but Hubble has managed to make a delivery here. We're filling this up. Why is this disabled by automation? Oh, look at that. Okay, I didn't know that this was a problem. We'll go around that way and we'll deconstruct that. Hopefully, Curie will come along and fix this very, very shortly for us. Uh, and then, then we're ready to start building up here. I think I'm going to get this obsidian ladder and we're just going to carry on building up like this and then we'll build a little pathway across. It's got it's the only way we're going to be able to be, able to be safe. I'm almost certain. Okay, here comes Curie to do the little fix as I had requested. I like the way that they can catch it whilst it's falling down to the bottom. That's uh, the materials that they uh, are just freed up there. That's 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 wonderful. That's amazing. Okay, with the pump running, I I think I think it's time. We're just we're just gonna get Kiri up here to do this. Hopefully she is the next one to be doing stuff. She's moving the the fossils around. She's very nice like that. Uh, one of, one of the uh, the secondary skills that she's got is operating and supplying, which uh, is very very handy when she's not actually digging or building. It's a it's a very good fallback job to have. Very good. 
Okay, and away she goes. Beautiful. Hopefully this will be just just fine. I mean, we're not going to be dropping anything ridiculously hot down here. I hope that everything. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for these things to be swept up. Uh, I feel like we're gonna have some troubles if that igneous rock mm, drops down too far. Let's stop and think about what we're doing here because I don't want to flash this uh, petroleum into. Let's, let, let's try and find the petroleum here. Petroleum. If we raise it up to too high a temperature, to uh, 538 degrees C, it will flash into sour gas, turning itself into a gas and allowing all of the oxygen up into here. That's that's really not what I want. Okay, we're, we're going to have to try and do some tricksy things to make this work. I'm going to throw down a tile. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm starting to work on this particular project over here. Whilst we got Curie, it seems like a good idea. Uh, we're going to get this sedimentary rock tile in place so it can catch anything that gets dropped down from the top. Let's get everything swept up as well if we can. That would be very handy. Uh, I might even have to move this gas pump. Just kind of swing it round 90 degrees that, that that should work out i mean maybe even move this into uh, this gas pipe over that way hopefully the next job that curie is on indeed is to uh, build this tile the reason i'm gonna have to move the gas pipe is i don't think she can get onto this ladder once the tile has been built there's not like any headroom uh so we need to put another piece of ladder um uh, what, what, what building materials that doesn't really matter we're just going to put the ladder here i wonder why it wouldn't let me build that to begin with probably because the uh the mini gas pump still kind of had its hitbox there if, if you see what i'm saying it takes a while for the hitbox to be cleared i'm hoping that she can jump from this ladder to this ladder I, that, that's that's the only only thing that i'm not 100 percent on okay i notice we've got a lot of granite led around rather than sandstone so if i clear these and go can i copy this but in granite please that should make things a little bit better for us a little bit quicker on the build waiting yeah there we go granite straight away waiting around for people to deliver materials is one of the one of the hardest things to do in this game you just you just gotta sit there and wait and like waiting man just waiting Ah, looks like we have a problem. The Curie move to. So wherever this is uh, white, she can move to. Wherever it's red, she can't. We come up here. This is fine. This is good. We've got a white at the here. Okay, we're going to have to move this mini gas pump. She cannot get through. I, I suppose that's fine. We'll, we'll move it down the bottom here. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that will be fine. I, I don't see any reason for this to not work. What is making my oxygen here, like, really climb in temperature? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. We've got, we got 100 degrees or so. Uh, I mean, I know it's kind of warm here, but it shouldn't be. Is it the abyssalite? I mean, I know this is 1300 degree abyssalite, but, but really? I don't, I don't get it. This whole area has been a bit weird. The whole time we've been building it. Hmm. Maybe we need to build some more tiles and throw down a doorway and then she can kind of climb up and through the corner here and may maybe that'll help she's cold cold yeah look how hot this little pocket of oxygen is getting in the corner here i'm i'm worried about it to be fair oh and she's running away uh <laughs> It's, it's kind of weird. We've got like 30 degree abyss light here and then 1300 degree abyss light at the top. But it seems to be that the it's only the hot stuff that's affecting the area. Hmm. How's the pipe going on, Blagolia? Um, it, I mean, I think it's got materials delivered to some places. Not not many, though. Down to, to here. I oh, know a little bit further down to here. I think these guys are going to have a, a slightly more impassioned day tomorrow where we're just going to give them a whole day of please, please, please come and make this. I don't, I probably should have let them go to the toilet first, but when needs must, when needs must. Okay, deliveries and buildings are going. We're going to leave them there for the moment. Back over here because we need to keep an eye on Curie. She's about to bust up through the top layers and I'm I'm a little bit worried about that. I'd also like to get all these insulated tiles put down to Hubble. What what are you doing? You steal you stealing the uh, the exosuit there. I'd also like to get some of this in place so we can start not worrying too much about 400 degree oxygen. Wow, 400 degrees is outrageous. 
The moment the lava slumped down to the the bottom, it the the temperature just spiked up. Now we now we're losing the temperature again. Okay, this is interesting. I think I think we're going to be gaining temperature as we go along here a lot, but we, we can we can live with that. We can live with that. Each each step is a new adventure. Okay, these guys are working as I would hope them to. Uh, I just I'm, I'm worried about them. Oh someone might have done it already uh, but I'm worried about them possibly peeing in the water supply I guess that's not a problem as, as the food's already full of food poisoning okay Kiri very hot in here okay that that that's fine that's uh, almost to be expected one might say very hot though maybe leaving the door open would have been a better play let's um let's get someone to do that okay Kiri's been badly injured that that might put a a small stop to our plans here. I suppose that gives these guys time to uh, to go across. They they want music. Do they not have music? We should give them some music. But uh, more importantly, the pipes are being placed. I don't think we're going to be able to do them all in one go. Let's 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 say, hey, just get to there today, please. Well, there's Curie take, taking a little bit of a break on the triage cot. I mean, I suppose that's okay. We've been in danger her life, just a little bit. Okay, I think this might be it. We're going to go up and make that uh, that wire first, but then surely we're just going to continue up. Maybe make a little dig here. The uh, igneous rock, of course, uh, just to remind you, the thing that we are most scared of, that lump now stopping there. That is great. Swapping temperatures with something. How is its temperature dropping? Ah, with the sandstone. That's going to get very warm. I hadn't thought about that, but here we go. We are building this ladder. I'm, one, I'm in an iron about whether to take that one out right now, or at least set the uh, the order for it right now, because, of course, Kiri's going to build her way up and then start digging some of this area out to allow some magma to drop down and into here. Uh, do I want this to be picked up? No, I don't think I do. I think that's too, too hot to put in the stores. But uh, talking of too hot, the, the magma dropping on Kiri would be too hot, so I don't... I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's let, let's let her dig the entire area out and and see if she'll be far enough away to not not get magma dropped on her. That's that's my big fear. I just I just don't want that to happen. This is looking like it should be fine though. Just a small little stream dropping down into the pre-prepared hole. We we knew this would be a thing that we needed to do at some point. Still pipe, still gas pump getting a little bit of troubles there. I'm actually gonna turn the auto repair off. I don't. I don't think that's a thing we need to do. Oh, this is going to get worse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. That is for sure. Whoa. Wh whoa. Why Why are you doing this? I thought I was done. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind this actually happening if that could be a thing. I, I, I would like this tile put into place because there is a, a occasions where this tile takes takes over pressure damage I oh man I, I really thought we were just like yeah that's good work Kiri well done um how, how much more it's a lot that needs to get delivered but she's not taking damage so she complained but there was no damage ah uh, the granite melted the gra wait let's cancel that then we, we, we know what needs to happen here we go B can we have an obsidian tile okay that interesting there was 50 50 kilograms of uh, of granite had been delivered and Kira had gone to get the other 350 and whilst we we're watching it went, went up to 400 uh, yeah that was that was weird that was weird Hubble where are you going what are you doing branch supply you're picking up igneous okay that's I mean that's brave brave <laughs> I don't like that Hubble is going to store stuff that I've not set to sweep. Why 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 is this? Where where is he going once he's picked this up? Come down and through. Just this one here. Okay, let, let's turn all of that off. I don't I don't know why this was set up to collect all the obsidian. I think it was because we were trying to build stuff and it was just a staging area, but still that's that's not what I would like. Oh no. Oh no, what has happened? Oh, I know what's happened. This is bad. This is very bad. I was talking about how Hubble's been coming. Oh no, he carried hot igneous rock through the... Oh, this is very, very bad. So I, I feel like this might even be unfixable bad. We've got so much temperature here. I want to try and put down another blob of liquid to uh, to... to 
reseal the area. But as soon as this sour gas comes down here, one, it's going to melt my pump. My pump will only go up to uh, 150 degrees, 160 degrees. Uh, but but secondly, it it will indeed touch the liquid and turn it like it, this this this, hit, this uh, pump here uh, it doesn't overheat until it's up to 275 like and it's overheating I'm gonna make a save that will tell me what day I'm at <laughs> and then if I need to, to load back up I can load up the the day before or at least the morning before I'm gonna rip this down we're gonna try it we're gonna try it I'm gonna rip this down I'm gonna put up a, a proper um, pump uh, in here we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can pull everything down and and fix it I don't think we will though okay let's get everybody on this at the highest of priorities we, li we literally have nothing else we can do uh, I need to be able to put down a bottle emptier somewhere here and that that is kind of the only place that it can happen I'm gonna even go ahead and uh, let's let's say disable this building if someone can come along and do that as well Hubble's got straight onto that let's put it back up to to nine rather than a high such a high priority uh, looking at the ladders they're kind of holding the temperature for now so that that that's kind of good. I mean, the good thing is it is incredibly thin atmosphere up here, so it shouldn't take too long to uh, to clear stuff out. I uh, need to start with the liquid emptier. There's no way I'm going to be able to do it without putting the seal back in place. Okay, bottle emptier down. We want to get some petroleum. We'll take an auto bottle, of course. Uh, people straight on that? I sure do hope so. Let, let's get them straight on that. Okay, bore is good. Right, brilliant. Uh, and once that's done, we need to rip this down and get ourselves another steel pump up there, which we don't we don't have steel. Okay. Uh, well, there's the petroleum. That's good. I guess we'll just try it. Uh, uh, am I going to just try it with whatever I can try it with? What I'd really like to do is move this one, like deconstruct this. But the uh, the materials in there are already very hot. Look, 800 degrees. So uh, a little bit worried. Okay, I mean, like, what will happen if I start by putting the pump in that was here to begin with? We, we're at 70 degrees. Hopefully we can get there and start pumping stuff out before it becomes too much of a look at those temperatures. There's just no way. I mean, I'm almost tempted to build lots of them in a row and then just repair them as they break or, you know, rip them down and uh, rebuild as they break. See what see what happens with that. That might work. OK, they've already got a whole bunch of stuff down. It doesn't seem to be changing the temperature of this mini pump much. This one's a little bit warmer than the others. They haven't put the power line in for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, all the alarms have gone off. Is this now just pumping this whole area clean? We may have had a small liquids accident down here, which is really going to make things a bit more awkward. Uh, petroleum at the bottom and then polluted water on top of it. Yeah, not not amazing. Not sure how we're going to get that out of there. Because, because Rutherford had a, had a little accident while I was in there. Okay, I asked people to mop up. I didn't think this would do this. That's why I've not talked my way through it. Uh, because everybody mopped up, the uh, the pressure got released. It must must have been something like that. Uh, and now we've just got petroleum with uh, with polluted water on top of here, which should hopefully mean that we're not getting any more polluted oxygen this way. I'm not sure why these others aren't working. Piped blocked. Oh, okay, yeah, that make, makes sense, I suppose. I'm sure we can fix that let's uh let's connect these up like this and then grab this tool and do this one like this i think that should now mean that everybody can pump at the same time if needed okay that's good and we are also shifting most of the gases in I mean, there's 3,000, uh, no, 300 degree oxygen here that everything seems to be doing well enough to not actually get hot I'm not sure I like the way this is pumping right now, but I think we'll we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. But what if I don't? What what if we change that to this? Now we've just got two little pumps rocking. Is that is that good enough to keep the area cool? I don't think it is. What about if we do the top and the bottom pump instead? Okay, well, whilst this horror is trying to fix itself, and I feel like it is going to fix itself, still at 38.4 degrees over here, we're going to rip this steel apart and, of course, go and fix... Oh, is that going to sink all the way down here? That 
Uh, it can probably stay there. It's not going to melt till much higher. The scolding is fine. We'll just let that happen whilst this block gets put in place. Okay, great. We do have... Oh, I was about to say we do have a little bit of a problem with some gases being caught in the magma. But no, I think, I think the fact that we have uh, been pumping out enough gas for a little while now has uh, done us a good... Where are you? Oh, no. Um... Yeah, I see, I see what's going on here. Curie is trying to put... I can't use granite for this. I can't use granite for that. What have I been doing? Insulated tile? Well, I suppose insulated tile is fine. I've just realized that uh, this granite could melt. Uh, it will melt at 600 degrees, and this magma is at 1500 degrees. Thankfully, the fact that it is a, uh, an insulated tile is going to save me there. But what we need to do now is just cancel all of this. We'll, we'll come back to this, but now is not the time. We could, uh, watch, we could say goodbye to this granite. Do we, do we want to we wanna watch it happen together? It's already up to 100 degrees. It's going to Take, gonna take a little while to get to 600 degrees, but we'll, we'll, we'll be here. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can hang around. A surprisingly short amount of time later, we find ourselves at 450 degrees. We're trying to get up to 660 at the moment. Of course, looking at the uh, the temperature there, 668.9. So let's call it 669. Uh, we're going to want to go three degrees above that. So we're going to be looking at uh, 672 degrees. Uh, so that, that that's a little further off than I was imagining. You can see actually right now the, the rate of heating is a pretty ridiculous. Uh, done by the thermal heating... Uh, thermal conductivity here uh, you could you could read the equation if you care but 3.3 .3 is a big number it will uh, soak up heat pretty quickly all right we're at 660 right now 670 there it's gone we got more magma we, we you could pour almost any uh, of your rocks into the magma and it will just make you more magma uh, eventually i'm sure if you carried on it will end up uh, melting uh, cooling the magma but as it is it's a lot of magma here and you can melt anything that's not obsidian and and steel of course the the steel just sat there I'm glad I stuck with this it's going to take a while to be able to clear all this out but i was very close to just reloading a past save but i feel like this is this is working well I, I don't know whether it's all the stuff around it or the fact that it's not uh holding anything other than a vacuum around or the, whatever is taking the temperature away from the hot gas where by the time it gets to the mini pump is working out well still 38.4 degrees i was expecting to end up with a bunch of naphtha down here uh so this has worked out where is this actual water come from i thought we only had polluted water Oh, and of course, throwing out all these waste gases right next to the pump that's picking up for the atmospheric uh, suit, probably probably not the best idea. I've asked for some more pipe to be laid down to here. Looks like uh, Curie's got as far as here so far. It's going quite well. Of course, someone coming along to do this would also be helpful, the vent itself. Uh, I don't want to cut this line yet because I, I feel if the vent vacuum is the thing that's keeping this guy safe, uh, we want to carry on pumping out that vacuum, right? Okay, it turns out we've got a little bit of a pathing issue again. Curie can come up and along this way. You can see we've got white. It's not this little section here. I thought this might be the area that was stopping her move. But no, we can carry on up here. I thought also this might be a problem. But of course, she can't stand there. But she can stand over here. Work her way up the ladder. Oh, what's this? We, we can't get past this one. I need to dig out this. And I feel like that's going to maybe cause some troubles thankfully we've got this wall here that's something else i want to do when we get up there i want to uh, build some obsidian wall like this maybe may may maybe even more but like we'll, we'll we'll see what's going on i think like maybe another one there <laughs> wouldn't go and miss but that's that one there is not going to be permanent because we need to be able to make our way across and do the digging and then eventually i'm going to dig this bit out right here and let all the magma pour but there's um there's a lot here. So there's like 17 across the bottom here. There's 18 there. I mean, you've got like 16 in that little spot. There, there's there's over 40, maybe 50 tiles of magma there. And uh, 12 by 12. Yeah, I mean, tw 24, 36, maybe in the three. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Okay, here comes Curie to dig this out. Nice, nice. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Not even... A problem. Gas pumps still doing their thing. It's the six grams of oxygen up here that's the problem. Curie is standing in lava. Please don't. Is, is her suit hot now? What is she doing? What is she doing? Uh, okay, maybe we need to replace this with a tile. Let's go B and 
pop that there. Let, let, let's see if she'll do this. Of course, the obsidian itself... Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like this is going to be a, a moment of big micromanagement. Let's just turn this up to nine and then cancel all of those. Ev everything else could be got. Uh, just, I would like this built here. The fact that she stood right next to it is not ideal. I'm even going to walk her out of this place. Oh, she's going on her own. Good. Can we mop this? Too much liquid. We cannot mop that. Well, guess we're going to wait a bit. Come on, look at all that surface we can see. Oh, it's, it's immaculate. Oh, that is wonderful. I love it. I love it. We've also got this liquid sulfur geyser that we might actually be able to get to at some point. Okay, Kiri's back up and raring to go. I've noticed this ladder is exceedingly hot, but the other thing I want to do is try and squeeze this mag uh, blob of magma. Turns out I couldn't say that just coming running at it like that. Uh, out across the side somehow. So I'm going to fill up all these areas around here. I'm not really bothered whether there was uh, this one got filled in or not. I'm just trying to isolate this ladder so we can possibly rip it down and put up a better one. What is Kiri actually doing right now? There we go. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I then also, once these have all gone into place want to put a new one there I'm, I'm not sure whether i really care about this bottom tile I, I just i'm not sure i'm not sure over here you may have heard the yellow alert get turned off and of course there's no power so they can't actually do it but we've got this line finally completely hooked up oh there we go there, there, there we go we've got a little bit of water on the way to go get processed beautiful and that will then turn into oxygen via the the magic of the electrolyzer down here combat of course coming over here is curie beating up hatches so that she can eat because we, we were running out of food just a little bit too fast over there. Okay, when this tile gets deconstructed, there's going to be some magma movement. I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to put myself some new ladders up here. Yeah, yeah, I think this is fine. We'll probably end up ripping this ladder down. No, no, we'll end up using it as the basis, I think. But I really wanted this one done first. Okay, oh, there we go. Brilliant, brilliant. That's nice. Uh, this should now get rid of that uh, blob of magma. But I was originally going to then pull these tiles down. But I don't think I need to, do I? I think we can just carry on as we are. I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to try. We're just going to build across like this. We're using very hot obsidian. I don't know whether that's going to be a problem. Let's have a look at the ladder here. No, ladder goes in at 45 degrees. Have I found a way to delete heat? Uh, it looks like it. I'm not sure that I'm happy with that because, you know, we're kind of farming heat as well as other things. We're down to only two grams of oxygen, by the way, up here now. That That's that's pretty good. We, ha we had like six, so we, we're doing incredibly well. Once it gets down to about one, I think we can start watching the sour gas expand its way back out. And still not not even a point one of a degree of climb in temperature for this leading uh, leading pump here. And that's That's really the one that I was worried about. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of widening along here just because I want to have as much of a buffer as possible. Maybe even take this out before I start ripping this down. How much time do we have? We've still got half of the cycle left, so that should be fine. I've got a feeling once I've done this, we're going to be good. But just to be sure, I'll take another layer off as well. Uh, we're moving along at maximum acceleration here. It's a very unusual move for me, to be honest. I normally prefer to move along a, you know, a, the more glacial pace here but uh, at least at double uh, double um, acceleration but no no all, all the way up okay this is looking good I'm gonna pop this one in here but I want Curie to walk to the other side before she does it so okay you do that then. Uh, all right, well, we'll have to do this another way to make sure it happens in the right order. Uh, we're going to put the priorities up and the priorities no, down. <laughs> oh, we've got another obsidian store over here. I just heard someone getting scolded. Oh, I really hope this means... Okay, it looks like this was fine. So, Boar was the person to, uh, to break the seal. Carried items, none. There, this obsidian. It is lava hot. It's lava hot. I can't believe you did that. But it does show me where where that is. So, so where else? You want obsidian as well. Oh, how do we how do we stop that? Just like this. Okay, there, there we go. A any, anyone else? Let's have a look at Boar again. Storing steel. Where are you going to pick the steel up from? I don't know. Turn, turn that off as well. Okay, I think I think that's all of the weird errands that could possibly ruin our day taken care of. Okay, here, here here comes Curie to do the digs that I want her to do. I'm going to slow back down now because things could go very wrong very quickly here. We want these two taken out and then I'm going to 
wait for the daytime to oh, oh really you, you know what i'm just gonna just gonna get curie to do these right now uh we're gonna let her walk back over there but you know what after that happened bam all right here we go what this is what we're here for i want to watch this magma flow oh man i don't know about you guys but this this is what i've been oh oh look at look at that stacking up there that is i mean worrisome but uh you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna put down another couple of tiles and uh, maybe maybe uh, ask for that to get done at a super high priority. I think we're going to be okay. I really do think we're going to be okay. I don't really want to seal this area off from the rest of the, uh, the gaseous environment out here, but uh, it might might be something that we need to do. Uh, she's not going to come back up, is she? Okay, that, that that's fine. If, if we have to hit red alert, I'll hit red alert, but I think we're fine like this i was super impressed by the way it had uh, piled itself right up oh here comes rutherford i mean good good work well done that, that was enough obsidian for both okay that 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 was super strong i like that i like that okay so is this is this it we we've got that amount of magma now i, I like the way it goes down to 172 kilograms at the end here but it's fully fully pressurized down this end okay that's that's a little bit awkward i'm not sure whether this means we're gonna have to yeah look at that hmm that's very awkward i suppose i'm gonna cancel those now is this is this the play is this what i'm doing i'm just just digging out this area i think it is i think it is little pocket of sour gas there but i think all in all a successful little operation now the question is i don't i really don't want to let the gases out of this little pocket up into there so we're not going to be going that way but it looks like i could if I really wanted to make my way up into space this way, and uh, maybe, just maybe, let's let's put down some obsidian ladders here. I'd like, I'd, hopefully, the dig's going to happen first. Uh, let let the gases out to space. That's that's my idea as well. Let's let's actually set up the route, shall we? Okay, Curie's come to let the lava fall. I'm not I'm not sure about her walking underneath the lava fall. That that might not. Oh be great are you okay curie is is this working out fine for you having a little shower in the magma okay it looks okay it looks fine i don't like how much this is filled up down here it feels like it's going to start making the i mean the ladders are already very hot okay i was wondering about whether i could let this lot out or maybe even this and uh, um no <laughs> gotta say this is quite a momentous occasion for the playthrough here for the first time in nearly a thousand cycles the inhabitants are reversing and have a way through to the surface this is as i say the first time this has ever happened and with that i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where hopefully all this oxygen will have disappeared uh can i can i get rid of that thank you very much hopefully we would have got enough heat into this oh how, how long how long? How long? Oh, oh, it's taken 10 days. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the game right here. Next time we will definitely be watching this volcano erupt and uh, see the disappointing amount of heat it doesn't actually put into there, no doubt. And hopefully making Blagolia a, a viable place. There's so much stuff that we need to take over here, but uh, mostly I'm worried about their auction supplies. But I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.